Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. I'm your host, Tammy Treyer. For those of you that are new to my show, my family and I embarked on an off-grid journey a decade ago. We just sold that home and we are in the process right now. Behind me, you can see here on the YouTube portion of the podcast, um, you can see the fresh stone behind me here. Our driveway is getting put in place. We're getting some drainage ditches dug and the sun is shining and we are making some progress. So I'm so excited. And I will in this episode be sharing a little bit with you on what all we've got going on. If you'd like to find the show notes, you can find that by going to our website at treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 218. And I want to encourage you to join me on the next episode. I'm going to have the mountain boy uh, joining me. He has over the top news and blessings to share with you all. And I'm just so excited. You know, our world and everything around us is just really in a chaotic state, in a sad, sad state, really. And I do want to encourage you all to be certain to pay attention to your surroundings and know what's going on around you because there's a lot of things happening that if we weren't doing our due diligence, um, we're going to lose our freedoms. And we're going to have ourselves in a really bad place. So um, we can do our, our part by being prepared, taking care of our families, paying attention to what's going on around us, vote in um, good legislators. We need good leaders and we need to pray for the leaders we do have. Um, there are good ones out there. Um, sadly, it's more and more seeming far and few between. Um, but we need to pray for them to do their part, do what they are out there for, uh, lead we the people and and listen to we the people. So um, be certain that you're being proactive right now because it is truly uh, very, very important. Um, I can't mention that enough right now, but please pay attention to your surroundings. A lot of chaotic things are going on in our world. But as we are finding on my live video every week, although things are really crazy, there's still a lot of good in this world. There's still a lot of things we can do as individuals, as families. Um, the key thing is focusing on our preparedness. You know, we've been teaching that and sharing that for the last decade. And a lot of people thought we were nuts, didn't understand what we were preparing for. But it is important that we are prepared for anything that may come our way. And always be um, diligent in our efforts, always preparing today for tomorrow, and continuing to do so. This year is an important year for us to be growing our own food, at, regardless at what capacity. And... Uh, just stepping ourselves up a notch in being certain that we, for lack of better terms, are not caught with our pants down again in, in situations like we just were. Because I know that there were many unprepared people for what uh, we just experienced and are still experiencing. So the other thing I'm learning is how active people are and are really keeping themselves focused on, on their goals, their dreams, uh, their levels of preparedness, and just moving forward. And so many people have detached from places like Facebook and barring social media to regain their lives, to get out of the drama, to get out of the negativity. I am one of those, and I am not ashamed to say it. It has been such a blessing to walk away from Facebook Although it was good to see many people were rekindling their faith and or speaking up on their faith, and that was something that they weren't doing before. So that is a very promising and positive uh, thing that has come from uh, all of this. Uh, but just the negativity, the negative media, the negative drama, the just the chaos. So my life is very pleasant, and I am finding that everybody that has been joining me on my live videos is experiencing the same thing because they've done the same thing. They are focusing on their lives, their livelihood, their preparedness efforts, and they are taking one day at a time and moving forward one day at a time. And honestly, guys, that is all we can do is really just 
embrace each day. Keep God in it. Uh, I can't mention it enough how important it is for me personally to get up in the morning, grab a cup of coffee, and spend nourishing time with God. We've got ourselves new study Bibles. That was an investment that we made uh, for ourselves and also for Austin for his new venture, which I just cannot wait to share with you guys. I am beaming and he is just so thoroughly excited. But um, just to be able to delve into God's word, to spend time with God. And honestly, guys, I am just chewing his ear off all day, every day throughout my day because our days so incredibly fast paced and so full and so diverse. I mean, we are jumping from one thing to the next. I am working on client sites. I'm working on a site for Austin. So I'm web designing and programming. I'm putting estimates out for other clients. I'm, I'm ordering materials for us and others. I am arranging deliveries so that we can keep this ship moving forward. I am helping the boy um, progress in his new venture. I am running errands and all of a sudden stopping all of that to go get diesel fuel for the backhoe and, and stopping to lend a hand where I am needed to help load things, carry things, move things, build things, spackle things. It's been amazing. It's crazy, but it's been amazing. And you know, a full day like that allows you to sleep really well because our heads hit the pillow and we are out. And we've got a long way to go. Uh, we have merely just begun here on our property. We have gotten the stone in. This is now the second attempt. The first attempt, things were just, it had dried out, but the rain started coming. So we got 10 loads of stone in and had to quit. So now, two months later, we have sunshine dryness and we are getting the rest of our stone in getting everything secured so that we can get our shop in place and we are digging the drainage ditches on the other side of me here so that we can um, drain around the home and uh, prepare to start building our home so honestly the building of our home will probably not start taking place for another month yet um, but we did do a big bulk load of moving the bigger things this week, which was just so gratifying and just took such a load off. So, you know, as you're doing these new things and you are progressing in what you are in your neck of the woods on your homestead, in your home, in your space, you know, it's so gratifying when you can see the results from your sweat and blood and I guess sometimes tears. Right now, there are no tears. We are just so, we don't even have time to cry. <laughs> it's just that fast paced. But it's amazing though, seriously. Um, and it's just, it was nice to change gears. We had rain for so long and rain to me is depressing. I'm very solar powered myself, just like my home. And um, to be able to switch gears and start making some progress for ourselves um, was really, really helpful. Um, we're going to have to, again, switch gears and go back to finishing other projects and, and then and pushing through those so that we can start uh, felling trees and milling lumber and building our walls. So it's pretty awesome. For those of you that are just joining in, we are building a traditional log cabin. Um, it is a very unique cabin. The logs are not going to lay horizontally. They're going to be vertical. It is very unique. And uh, we have blueprints drawn up merely for our uh, permitting. But the mountain man builds from his head. So it's really quite intense and amazing just to see it all unravel. I am just the grunt. I am the second set of hands. I am the strengthening woman, uh, which I am so excited about. Uh, we've done a lot of projects lately that has proved to me that my strength is returning. And to me, that just makes me celebrate inside and out because it has been a long healing journey for me over the last four years. So guys, whatever it is that you're going through, I wanna remind you that there is hope always always, always, and that things will progress, things will turn, that what we walk out, regardless if it's good or bad, um, does not last forever. Um, there is always light at the end of the tunnel, and um, this too shall pass. So 
Beyond the COVID-19, if you are walking out other things that are on the negative side, just keep trusting God, keep seeking him, keep looking for him and, and, and keep depending and relying on him. Keep your faith and trust in him because guys, you've seen us progress over the last four years. Those of you that are new, feel free to go back and review our, our materials because God has blessed us tremendously and has walked us through a very rough patch in our lives. And we are now progressing and it is just utter and complete and abundant blessings. And it is just an amazing place to be. But you know, so was that four year journey, regardless if it was a negative journey, it was an amazing journey. And God revealed so much to us, uh, provided so much growth for us through that time frame and really has just it was just it's all good you got to remember that what we walk out the good the bad and the ugly all has purpose you can hear the man returning with the backhoe it's going to get loud so i will wrap this up here in a few minutes but regardless what it is that we are walking out you got to remember that there is good in it all through the good, the bad, and the ugly, you will have good, you will have bad, you will have growth, you will have nurturing, you will have be engulfed in God's arms. He's always leading the way. So don't ever question that. Don't ever um, doubt that he's not present because right now, you know, you may not feel him, but he is doing a million things in the background while you are doing what you're you can. We've got to continue to do our part. We've got to continue to move forward. We've got to continue to seek him, praise him, praise him for what he hasn't even done. I'm already thanking him for providing everything the mountain boy needs. And you know, he just keeps answering those prayers. So I just wanted to put this out there today. This is just a little update on our progress and hopefully a little bit of encouragement for you guys on the other side keep your eyes on the prize stay in a positive mindset if you're struggling through these times create yourself a little happy place I know that sounds funny but find your sweet spot you know in my office although I showed it the other day on my live I've got mounds of stuff that's packed up but I have my um, little love seat in the corner, a little chimney with candles burning in it, my Himalayan salt lamp, my uh, diffusers, and I just made myself a cozy little corner. And you know what? We all need to do that. I'm also doing that right here. You know, being out in God's beautiful countryside is an amazing thing. Get out, take care of yourself, go for walks, eat well, sleep well, and seek God and just keep yourself in a good place. You know, God is present, he is there, he will carry us through all of this. And I just wanna encourage you to do those things because it really is a benefit and you really will find your peace and joy and happiness, especially by keeping God first. So I look forward to having you guys join me on the next one because it is gonna be a wild, wild time. So guys, take care. Have a blessed day. I look forward to catching you on the next one. God bless.